comes down to trust. My name is Chuck Inman and I'm a professional tandem surfer. My name is Lauren Oye and I'm a professional tandem surfer. Well, I got into tandem surfing in 2006. I moved to Hawaii and met a guy that lives in my building who was putting on the, the world championships that year. And he introduced me to tandem surfing and found me a partner and let me borrow his board and the rest is history. I got into tandem surfing through friends that were already involved in the sport. With my gymnastics background, they really pushed me to get into it. I competed in sports acrobatics and then I transitioned into synchronized swimming and was on the U.S. national team and it was the one that they flipped up in the air. <laughs> so it's not that much different from tandem. She was with some friends doing lifts on the beach and I was coming in from surfing. I first asked how old she was and when I found out she was 24 I was like okay I'll, I'll, I'm gonna see if she wants to tandem with me. A lot of tandem teams do get romantically involved, but the majority of us are not. But the few that do get involved, sometimes things don't really work out, and it can just be very hard on the whole tandem community to watch a tandem team go through that. The tandem relationship is very important to me. He's my family. I don't have family out here in Hawaii, so this is something that brings us together. For a girl in tandem, you have to put a lot of trust into your partner. When it comes to wiping out tandem, it comes down to the, to the issue of trust. She has to know that if we're going to put ourselves in a sticky situation on a, on a really juicy wave, she's going to know that the first thing I'm going to do before anything is take care of her. So if we're surfing in shallow, reefy conditions, I'm going to fall, I'm going to have her on top of me so she doesn't touch the reef. If she trusts me, she's going to be perfectly still in the air, she's going to hit her pose perfectly, and she's not going to second guess what I do out there. Some of our more usual lifts that we do are the arm to arm and the scorpion, and those are both overhead lifts. She's basically doing a handstand on my shoulders. The scorpion is when she does an arch and bends her legs forward. We also branched out and took the arm to arm to one arm arm to arm so I have her with one arm instead of two. It's just fun to be able to push the limits a little bit more and be creative. I love being in the water. Just anything in the water, I'm totally game. I can't tell you how much of an asset it is to have a partner that's fully comfortable in the water. It just takes all the pressure off of me to have to worry about her and a board. The board is huge, it's 12-6. You can't duck dive it, you can't hardly turtle it. Very, very thankful to have you know, a partner that can really hand herself in the water. And yeah. So before we go out, we usually have a plan. It's all done on the fly. A lot of times it just doesn't work out that way. It, there are times where when you're on the wave, you have to make decisions on the fly. You have to change things up quickly and you have to communicate. We might be in Waikiki and there might be a tourist coming right where I want to go and she's expecting to go into a lift and so I have to change her position to go into a different lift. Maybe I'm already in a lift and I have to hold it longer. She doesn't see that because she's upside down looking somewhere else. I'm looking at where we're going. It's really incredible after a while you learn how to read each other. I'll call out a lift and I'll put my hand on a certain place where I'm supposed to lift her but it's not the lift that I called. But she knows me well enough to know, well, he called the wrong lift, but I know where his hands are and I know what lift to go into. It gives me goosebumps talking about it because you work so hard for it and then it comes together. It's a crazy, amazing feeling. It's a culmination of all the time we spend outside the water, on land, in the studio, learning new lifts, fighting through things that we don't know how to do. And then once we have it, taking it out in the water, we paddle together. We're like one person paddling. Dropping into the wave, we pop up together, we come up as one person because that's how tandem is. You have to make the board think it has one person on it. It's gratifying knowing that all the work you've put together outside the water, you're doing it now. You go into a lift and you're, she's flying above the water and I'm surfing and it's really fun to be good at something. I'm Chuck and you're Lauren. <laughs> together? I'm Chuck. And I'm Lauren and, and you're, you're watching, watching the Surf, surf Channel. channel.
I love nose riding. Just the feel of walking up and down the board. If I could just nose ride forever, I would.